fast forward to right now, December 5th. Um, rehearsals. Rehearsals for Reno Latin Dance Fest. Hey, you know what? I'm excited for this trip. This was actually my first ever Congress I attended was Reno. So I absolutely love Reno. It has a special place in my heart. And um, I do not, as a dancer, as an individual, feel ready for this Congress. Um, it's kind of scary. I just now, this last week, finally felt comfortable enough to put heels back on with the, my injury. And like, make no mistake, I am dancing and I am taking classes and doing all of these things, but I am not healed. Like, my ankle hurts really bad. I still don't know what's wrong with it. I'm like going through doctors and trying to figure out what's going on and I have all these tests that need to be done. So like, if you think that I'm out here just doing all this and I'm good, not true. Like I'm going through a lot of pain, but it's for something I love. So, you know, to me, it's it's the sacrifice that goes into this. But in Reno, we are doing a new partner routine. So I'm excited. Um, Mordano Fino is debuting a routine well we're gonna debut the 18th but it is our new routine we're taking to reno so excited about that it's a very like contemporary saucy feel so that's great um and then we are also for the first time splitting and competing as couples so i until like last year never really thought that it was possible it's possible for me to compete and do all these things and even like the solos i brought up before this didn't even really think that those were a thing and um i just started really seeing like the world open up a little bit like what i can do the possibilities but i'm worried guys i'm so worried so i'm at a point in my life where i realize that the negative voices that are in my head are just the most unrealistic thoughts and like all they're doing their weights just bringing me down so I know that it's stupid, but that does not stop them from coming. You know what I mean? It just kind of have to figure out how to get the more positive coming back into your brain. I will say as I am getting ready for the 18th, December 18th, which is literally 13 days from now, and Reno, which is a month from now, I feel like I have a lot of work to do inside. I have a lot of work to do handling my injury. I have a lot of work to do as a dancer and like honing in my craft. I feel like I stopped cross training a lot in my last few years because I focused more on, I mean, I was on four teams and I was focused on just learning routines and competing and or not competing, but training. And so my focus, you know, was more on um, training and doing those performances. And it wasn't like, training and like working on my body with my art you know this is how I express myself and you know get out what I want to get out. I, I couldn't really do that and I lost a lot of movement that I noticed that I had when I started salsa so I started um August 2018 and I felt like that year after that I had a lot more body movement and I liked the way that I expressed myself more than I do now, three years into dancing salsa. And a lot of it is because I stopped cross training. So like if you're not cross training or you are stopping, don't, bad idea, bad idea. Either way, as I'm getting back into it, I feel like there's a lot of work that really needs to be done for me to get to where I want to be. So where do I start? <laughs> Let's see if I can get real really fast <laughs> without laughing. I, if I'm being completely honest, really am scared that I don't have what it takes. I'm worried that I'm going to step out on the stage and I'm going to just fail miserably. I think that there's this expectation of me as a dancer and a performer that I don't feel like I can uphold and keep wowing people. I just, I think that I really believe that people think that I'm greater than I believe that I am. So as a performer, it's tough because I have this routine and I don't feel like I have it down and I feel like people can look at me and go, wow, really, you know? I definitely feel like I'm going to fail. 
I feel like I'm going to fail. I As of right now, the, the run we just did earlier is a long way from where we started, you know, you know, far, far from where we started. But I don't think it's anywhere near competition ready. I don't even think it's a performance ready, to be honest. And I'm just really I'm just praying and I'm hoping that it works. But I... I don't think that I am strong enough in my partner work. I don't feel comfortable enough in partner work in general when it comes to this. Um, Like I said, I feel like I fell off a lot as a dancer in general, like my training. So my lines, my feet, my everything, I don't feel like I'm as, um, as good as I should be. And because I'm so worried about all those things, I feel like my performance aspect is di- taking a dive. And like... The worst part of it is I just don't want to be a letdown. I don't want um, it to be like, wow, I thought this girl was good. And here here she is, you know, failing. Because I feel like I've been doing a lot of that lately. And I'm just so scared to just, I don't know, keep being like that. Like, I just don't, I don't want to be a failure. And, um. I don't know. I, I I don't really know what to do, but like these are things that I don't really talk about a lot. And and if I ever do really bring it up, people are like, they gotta expect me to brush it off because I think there's something you need to remember when you are talking to people and you see someone and you think, oh my god, this person's doing great. Um, I think we have expectations of people or we see people a certain way and we don't realize that those same people might not see themselves that way. And I know a lot of people talk to me and they like act as if like I think that I have it all and I'm something that's like amazing and up here and I don't I don't feel like that. You know what I mean? I don't feel like I have anything going for me really. <laughs> So I I walk around and I try to carry myself with a great deal of confidence because there's no point of walking around defeated, you know what I mean? And showing it, you know, I just really believe in hard work and pushing myself and I will always be humble. I don't, I really don't think that I'm ever great or better than anyone. So that's just not really a thing, but I, I always, if anything, feel like I'm the worst in the room and I'm just trying to get better and get better and better again like to that point saying like the worst in the room at the end of the day the only person I'm competing with is myself my old version of myself but that being said like I do feel like I have fallen from an old version of myself so there's like a lot of there's a lot of questioning myself and my abilities and that's just some things that a lot of people don't see. So, like, I've definitely brought it up and I get the, like, man, you're crazy or what are you talking about? And it's easy to brush it off, you know, as if, like, you're just being dramatic. and But it's a feeling and it doesn't go away, you know what I mean? Like, just because someone says, hey, you know, you're tripping doesn't mean, like, I'm just going to, oh, you're right. I'm going to stop tripping. Like, it's not really a thing. And 